hey what's up everybody welcome back to the channel thank you guys so much for 1.6k on youtube i just want to say a huge thank you for all the love and support you guys have shown on stream i stream as well on twitch the link is in the bio uh today we're going to be talking about obs and specifically this microphone this microphone is the hyper x quadcast s edition uh, very similar to the regular Hyper X Quadcast microphone. Um, I have gotten a lot of questions about how my microphone is sounding so good, just like in this comment right here. And I just wanted to break it down to you guys because I did find someone who helped me make this microphone sound better. So stock, let's just show you what the microphone sounds like. I'm going to go through properties. Sorry, I'm going to go through filters. So I'm going to show you what the microphone sounds like stuck. All right, I'm going to go to filters and turn all of these off. And you're going to start to hear, I can't hear it until I watch the video and edit it, but you're going to start to hear that it sounds a little different. So I'm talking close to it. This is what my voice sounds like with no filters whatsoever. To enhance the audio and your voice from this microphone, you have to add filters like the limiter, the compressor, noise suppression, noise gate, slick EQ VST, Nova VST, the cotton, I'm going to butcher this one, but that one, the wilder, sorry, the wider, and the expander. Okay, so we're going to start to turn these filters on one at a time, and then I'll show you where I found these filters, how to download them, and the settings that I put my filters at so you could make your microphone sound a little better of course this is going to depend on your voice it's going to depend on you know the range of your voice uh how deep you want it and you know the best way to do it is just start with maybe my settings and then you could play around and try to get that that sound quality you like okay so we're going to go ahead and start to turn these filters on one at a time this is with the limiter this is with the limiter now we're going to add compressor. Okay, this is with the compressor. This is with the compressor. We're going to add a little noise suppression. Now this is with the noise suppression. This is now with noise gate. This is with noise gate. This is with slick EQ VST. This is with the slick EQ VST. You can see my mic is pinging a little bit. Nova VST, Nova VST. This one, cotton, the cotton. The wider, the wider, the wider. And now the expander. Here's the expander. These are all the filters that I have in order to make my microphone sound like this. Now let's get into it. Where did I find these VST plugins and how can you obtain them? I'm going to link down below where you can get all these VSTs and plugins for free. And I'll also go through each of my settings so you guys could see what to set it at so for example my limiter right here has a threshold of negative 5 db and the release is at 60 milliseconds the compressor the ratio is at a 4.0 to 1 with a threshold of negative 30 db the attack on 6 milliseconds release on 60 milliseconds and the output gain at 20 decibels i also side chain my desktop audio too i'm not sure if that helps pretty much what this is doing is whenever my desktop audio is coming in if it's too loud my voice will side chain and pretty much it will take over whatever loud noises is going on with the game or whatever desktop audio music you have it will kind of overtake it so that's really important as well noise suppression i have it on method for the rn noise higher quality the noise gate i have my closed threshold on negative 45 db Open threshold on negative 40. This you're going to have to play around with um, depending on how loud your voice is. If you talk really loud, you might not need that threshold to be so low. And um, if you want it to close quicker, you could raise that threshold or lower it. My attack time is on 25 milliseconds. Hold time is on 200 milliseconds. And release time is at 150 milliseconds. Okay, so these are some of the VSTs that I found online for free. The Slick EQ VST... 
It's a VST 2.x plugin. I use the TDR VOS, and then you have to open up the interface. And these are the settings that I have for this VST. I have my HP frequency at 50 hertz. The frequency on the low is at 85 hertz. The gain is 7.5 dB. The mid frequencies I have at 400 hertz with a gain of negative 4.5. On the high frequencies, I set it at 5. KHZs, um, gain at 9.0 dB. I have my outstage setting at deep and calibrated at 9.0 dB and output gain at 6.0 dB. Okay, so a lot of these terminologies I am somewhat familiar with because I've done some audio work, um, but for those who don't know what decibels and hertz and all those are, I think KHZ, I, I think it's kilohertz, so if you're not sure about what any of this means, you could literally just copy these settings like this. You could just type it in. So even if you don't know what it means, you could still copy and paste my settings just to get a good reference of where to start. All right. Also, I forgot right here, the mastering I have is on German. So you should be able to choose what mastering you want. So essentially just copy all these settings, make sure you have this clicked, make sure you have that clicked and auto if it's not already. And that's it for the noise gate. Okay, I'll leave this up where you could screenshot it, pause the video, whatever you need to, to copy these settings, okay? Next on, we're gonna go to the Nova VST. This is the TDR Nova. Again, you have to click on open plugin interface to get this whole screen right here. And again, this is going to be kind of like a copy my settings if you don't know any audio engineering or audio stuff at all, which I, I, I'm not a pro at this. So um, you're going to select the IV, which is going to be the four. You're going to have on the one and on the four. I'm not sure if this is doing anything now that I, I see it, but just maybe just do it. <laughs> You're going to click this middle setting with the Q on the 1.5 frequency with 9 KHZ. The gain on zero threshold, make sure it's clicked or highlighted blue. You're going to keep it at negative 25 decibels. And then you're going to move on to EQ gain clicked with a setting of dry and output gain at zero and zero, which I don't think is doing anything. And then the ratio you're going to have at 2.5 to 1 with an attack of 10 milliseconds and release of 150 milliseconds. Again, I'll keep the screen up. You can copy and paste all of these settings onto your slick EQ VST, Nova VST plugin, and we'll move on. All right, next up we have the Cotton Lenikov. Hot, cotton, okay. Someone in the comments, let me know if I'm saying it right. Is it the Cotton? Cot, the Cotton? Code to okay. I'm not gonna even do it. All right, here we go. We're moving on. This VST, we got, I believe, try to copy these settings. I'm not too sure if I mess with these. Keep this at default with the threshold of negative 25 dB. You're gonna keep this maxed out 9.0 dB for the softening ratio of 2.5 to 1 attack on 8 milliseconds. You're gonna have the release RMS at 250 milliseconds and then the makeup gain, keep it at zero, dry mix zero, but the output, bump it up to 3.0 dB. Again, copy these settings. They're easy. All you gotta do is kind of like drag them up and down. And then uh, some of these buttons, you could click them, click them off. So I'll leave the screen up, but once again, all the plugins, the download link is in the description. Be sure to smash that subscribe button Leave a thumbs up if this video helped you out. If you guys have the HyperX Quadcast and you just wanted to sound better, well, here's the video for you. Be sure to let me know in the comments if you want more videos like these. All right, moving on to the wider. I think this was one of the easier plugins I've had. We're going to open plugin interface, and there you go. It's just how much widening do you want? You might be able to hear it when I mess with this. So it's at zero now. And then we can make it wider. I don't know if it sounds bigger or what, but I keep it at 25% just to add a little bit of depth. Infected Mushroom. I wonder if that's the, the band or the artist. Okay, last but not least, Expander. So these are, I believe, plugins that come stock or that come with OBS. So we'll look under here. So yeah, you have the compressor. 
expander, the limiter, noise gate, and noise suppression. So all of these are actually, um, by default, will come with OBS Studio. Um, the plugins, you're going to have to click on this VST 2.x plugin. You're going to specify the name of the filter. And then you're going to find your plugin here. I'll show you exactly how you could do that. But that's how you're going to add these other ones, like the Slick EQ, the Nova VST. So you're going to pretty much hit that plus icon right here. Click on the bottom of VST 2.x plugin. And then type in whatever, you know, wider or whatever. Um plugin you want to add so that's how you do that okay but last but not least the filter i'm using on this microphone is going to be the expander we're going to use expander ratio at 3.0 to 1 threshold at negative 32 db attack at 8 milliseconds release at 250 milliseconds and the output gain at zero detection rms and that's it so that's how you could go from sounding like this to this i don't know if it sounds any better or worse let me know in the comments if this video helped if the audio sounds better and i will also leave those links down below in the descriptions again smash that like button be sure to subscribe for more content related to streaming or OBS or any technology related stuff. Streaming doesn't have to be just for gaming. There's a lot of musicians, uh, podcasts. OBS could be used and utilized in so many different ways. I think it's such a fun application to play around with. And, uh, you know, you could add your camera. You could add your microphone. You could add all kinds of things to make your streaming or, you know, presentation better. So hopefully this video helped. Thank you guys for your time. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.